If any of these 10 characteristics you might be born with higher frequency. Everything in this universe vibrates at a certain frequency which gives it its unique existence, visibility and tangibility. Any break in this frequency causes the delicate relation of the object to the universe to be broken or altered and makes it exist on a higher or lower plane of existence than before. Humans have strived for a higher plane of frequency than their fellows since the first yogi sat down under a tree to meditate on the deeper meaning of life. This higher plane, call it moksha or nirvana, is the same. Now, there are telltale signs that give away if someone is cut out for this transition process. These signs, if they exist in a person, say that the said person is not cut out for the earthbound and mundane. Instead, they might just meditate their way out of this murk to a higher plane of existence. These signs, read on to find out, are such. If you relate to even two of these, there is a high chance that you can increase your frequency if you try really hard at meditating and yoga. They are as follows. 1. Your moments of lucidity and absolute clarity don't last long but they are decisive. 2. Your dreams are vivid and clear. They are like visions which give you both demons to battle and inspiration to go on fighting. Sometimes they can be exhausting and scary, and sometimes you even enjoy them. 3. You bond very strongly when you do. It's like the meeting of twin flames. Be it family or romance, you bond like there is no tomorrow. But similarly, when cutting the cords you are equally ruthless. But when you love someone, you love with all of you. 4. Time for you is a piece of cloth you are folding. It is far more tangible and far more material. Your perception of it is absolutely transparent and fast, compared to others. 5. You believe in free will and predestination. That greater things are planned out for you, but at the same time, you need to make the right choices with your work to reach there. 6. Your gut has never failed you so far. You are perceptive and your intuition is tuned on point. You can read people's intentions from their body language. Because your intuition has turned out to be right almost all the time, if not always, you never fail to trust it and you always follow it and act on it. 7. People are naturally attracted to your personality like ants or to sugar. This is because you are a born leader, chock full of charisma and that intangible spark that separates a Martin Luther King from a crowd of people. People come to you for advice and help. You have a deep influence on them and can manipulate them easily. But you don't use that influence for achieving your end selfishly, or at least most of the time. 8. The wisdom and innate awareness people try to achieve through lifetimes of practice and meditation has been yours since you were a child. As a result, you often felt alienated and alone, detached from your friends and peers. 9. You are a naturally motivated person, someone who is positive and illuminated and in general hopeful about existence. The will to make a better world for yourself and your loved ones is deeply embedded in you. You are a happy and a very loving person. 10. You rarely fall sick. Unlike others who have a tendency to catch colds and coughs, you are a naturally healthier person. You have a very strong immune system and you make sure it stays that way. You take good care of yourself. Words are not just elements of speech or writing. 
because they can be used to strengthen the effects of magic, which is the art of directing and controlling energy. When spoken out loud, words transform into frequencies and vibrations that could be used to direct energy. This is one of the first steps to creating magic effects. Most people will laugh at the idea of magic being real, but only if they knew what magic really is and how magic is being used to control them. They wouldn't be laughing then, would they? The world is dominated by magic. Until you train your eyes to see how magic is used to control you, you will never know how the world really works. The controllers who pull the strings of politicians are well aware of how magic works. Many of them actually practice the art of magic, which is why they are sometimes referred to as the Dark Magicians. Unfortunately, they like to use magic for power and evil purposes instead of using it to change the world into a better place. The most powerful thing in the universe is energy. If you learn how to control and direct this energy, you will become one of the most powerful people on Earth. Why do you think the controllers, the dark magicians, are so obsessed with magic and energy? What is the definition of magic? Here is an excerpt from the book titled, Word Magic. The powers and occult definition of words that explains what magic is. The word magic is derived from the old French word. Magic, Latin magicus, and Greek magicos. One of the earliest definitions of magic is the art of influencing events and producing marvels using hidden natural forces. Magic has a strong relation with magnetic and electrical energy. Did you not notice that the word magnetic has the word magic in it? Take out net and magnetic and you are left with the word magic. The art of magic is often practicing along with certain words and sacred geometries. The common words that are used in magic rituals are the words that produce powerful sound tones when spoken out loud. These sound tones have powerful vibrational patterns which are used to direct and control energy and harness its power. Sound is able to direct energy for the reason that it carries certain frequency patterns that attract energy to flow in a controllable manner. Furthermore, sound is one of the natural forces used by nature to create crystalline structures. Topic today is The Egg Warning This story will blow your mind to a whole new level. Yes. It is true. The story I am about to tell you will be probably one of the best short stories you'll read in your life I have no doubt about that. Also, the story will blow your mind to a whole new level, it will ascend your thinking and you will never think of life in the same way again. How I know this? Well, I'll let you read it right now and you let me know if I'm wrong, Ock? Ock. The Egg. You have died. You were on your way home when you died. It was a car accident, nothing particularly remarkable, but fatal nonetheless. You left behind a wife and two children. It was a painless death. The EMTs tried their best to save you but to no avail. Your body was so utterly shattered you were better off, trust me. And that's when you met me. What? What happened? You asked. Where am I? You died I said, matter-of-factly. No point in mincing words. 
there was a a truck and it was skidding. Yup. I said. I. I died. Yup, but don't feel bad about it. Everyone dies. I said. You looked around. There was nothingness. Just you and me. What is this place? You asked. Is this the afterlife? More or less. I said. Are you God? You asked. Yeah. I replied. I am God. My kids, my wife, you said. What about them? Will they be alright? That's what I like to see, I said. You just died and your main concern is your family. That's good stuff right there. You looked at me with fascination. To you I didn't look like God. I just looked like some man or possibly a woman. Some vague authority figure, maybe. More of a grammar school teacher than the Almighty. Don't worry. I said. They'll be fine. Your kids will remember you as perfect in every way. They didn't have time to grow contempt for you. Your wife will cry on the outside, but be secretly relieved. To be fair, your marriage was falling apart. If it's any consolation, she'll feel very guilty for feeling relieved. Oh, you said. So what happens now? Do I go to heaven or hell or something? Neither. I said. You'll be reincarnated. Ah, you said. So the Hindus were right. All religions are right in their own way, I said. Walk with me. You followed along as we strode through the void. Where are we going? Nowhere in particular, I said. It's just nice to walk while we talk. So what's the point, then? You asked. When I get reborn, I'll just be a blank slate, right? A baby. So all my experiences and everything I did in this life won't matter. Not so, I said. You have within you all the knowledge and experiences of all past lives. You just don't remember them right now. I stopped walking and took you by the shoulders. Your soul is more magnificent, beautiful, and gigantic than you can possibly imagine. A human mind can only contain a tiny fraction of what you are. It's like sticking your finger in a glass of water to see if it's hot or cold. You put a tiny part of yourself into the vessel, and when you bring it back out, you've gained all the experiences it had. If we hung out here for a long enough, you'd start remembering everything. But there's no point to doing that between each life. How many times have I been reincarnated, then? Oh lots. Lots and lots. And, at that time, and into I lots of different lives. Life over I said, God and truly and this time around, God you'll be a Chinese peasant moment, girl in 540 AD. I Wait, what? And you stammered. And felt great. You're sending and me back in time? This very well, I guess technically, held and time, as you know it, only exists in your universe. Things are different where I come from. Died where you come from. You said. Oh sure, I explained. No longer a fragment. I come from somewhere. Somewhere else. And there are others like me. Everybody I know you'll want to know what it's like there, but honestly you wouldn't understand. Oh, you said, a little let down. But wait. If I get reincarnated to other places in time, I could have interacted with myself at some point. Sure. Happens all the time. 
and with both lives only aware of their own lifespan you don't even know it's happening. So what's the point of it all? Seriously? I asked. Seriously? You are asking me for the meaning of life? These are your ancestors. Isn't a that a little stereotypical? Into the past well, it's a reasonable right question. You persisted. How many ancestors I looked you in the eye. Have? We have two parents, the meaning of life, the reason I made this whole universe, is for you to mature. You mean mankind? Continue down this line, doubling every step. You want us to mature? Ago, no, just you. I made this planet. whole universe for you. Ridiculous. That's With each new life you grow and mature and become a larger and greater intellect. Just me? Came on the scene years what about ago, everyone else? Seven or eight there is no one else, I said. So where In this universe, there's just you and me. You stared blankly at me. But all the people on Earth. We're not talking banjo you. playing King of Spain, Cersei, Jamie, and Rudy, Different incarnations of you. Wait. Before Tinder, choices for maids I'm were often limited to as far as you can Now walk. you're getting it, Even I said, like with a congratulatory Einstein, slap on the back. I'm every human being who ever lived, because so or who many will ever live, yes, I'm Abraham Lincoln, I'm Hitler, you said, appalled, and you are the millions he killed, I'm Jesus, and you're everyone who followed him, you fell silent, every time you victimized someone, I said, you were victimizing yourself, that's right. Every act of kindness you you've done, you've internet, done to yourself. That you share the same great, Every great, happy and great, sad great, moment great, ever great, experienced by any human was, great, great or will be, experienced by you. We don't know you thought for a long time. The math tells us they must have existed, Why? But they didn't leave you asked me. Or or like Why do all this? Though writing birthday because cards someday, you will become like me. Great, great, great. Because that's what you are. Great, great grandchildren. You're one of my kind. We all carry a record of our ancestors. You're my child. Because DNA Whoa. is copied. You said over and over. incredulous. Every a mistake is written in. You know when you, you mean make a copy, I'm a god a copy doesn't come no. out sharp like that. But since Not most yet. of our DNA can be changed without affecting how you're a fetus. Work, many of these mutations slip You're still into growing. Generation. These genetic changes accumulate Once you've lived a every human life throughout all time, so you will have grown enough to be born. Clock. So the whole universe, you said, it's just an egg. I answered. Now it's time for you to move on to your next life. And I sent you on your way. Bye, Andy Weir. Conclusion the feeling you feel right now like you are levitating over yourself it's your mind being blown. I began to wake up when I was Elevated. Adults were teaching me You've ascended to a whole new level. I wish you have a mirror right a now to see your later, face. And yes, it is inevitable to it think about this when you meet when someone else. You will start questioning yourself, can my mother, or my brother, my kid, pattern, my wife, my best friend, all be me? You'll think of this when you talk with them. You'll start questioning even more, can this sexy waitress, or Leonardo DiCaprio, or Gandhi, all those terrorists, politicians, soldiers who died in wars, my boss could all of them be really Emmy? But that's a question. Question everything and everyone. Start seeing the universe through this prism. What is God? What is God? Okay, so, uh, Start seeing the world and everyone in it with this eye. Imagine if we all saw each other like this. As one. So what if this is just a story? It's the story we believe in that matters. And maybe it's time to change the story and accept new one. A story which will make the world a better place. It's not which story is that, true. Um, you look at the Bible and all of THEMR. You know, awesome, it's which story makes you a better person. Vague and the God. Sources P.S. Uh, when know, I think about it, you wrote this text for yourself. Facts that we find are so called facts that we find, and really a lot of people think it's just about faith. Um, but if you relate the Bible to quantum physics and apply most of the laws, actually, in a less of a figure sense.
figurative sense, but more of a literal sense, and replace it with things like the universe, uh, you'll, you'll eventually find out that it... Okay, cool. So just a couple more questions. You're, you're extraordinarily inspiring, and I agree with you on your definition of God, and wrote a children's book that basically says that. But you then, before when we were talking, we were talking about infinity and different universes, and so we've kind of identified God. God is energy, right? All the energy in the universe, that's God. It's not a guy in the sky, it's energy. Energy isn't something that you just have energy is on, and can't be, not all the energy in the universe, it's energy. Energy happens to consume the entire universe and every other parallel dimension of the universe that can never exist in our dimensional reality, but... Are there other universes? Wow. Wow. So Brian Greene, the famous physicist who wrote the, ne the Elegant Universe, said that the universe that that what reality was was infinite universes expanding infinitely. Do you agree with that? Yeah. And if in fact there are infinite dimensions and infinite universes, is it possible that someone named Max and someone named Richard are having this very same conversation in some other dimension? Probably there's an alternate universe probably where we're having this conversation one one millionth of a second after we started this conversation. So yeah, I'm probably guessing Why not around. simultaneously? Well, I suppose something has to be different. Maybe that person walking over there wouldn't be walking, or maybe he's walking one millionth of a second faster than he would in the other universe. So what so, happens after we die? I don't know. Our bodies are off the ground at the end. But do we continue in some way? Is there a reincarnation? Well, we have, um, we know that we obtain consciousness, or, you know, I think, therefore I am, right? We must have some sort of energy force to do that. Some people say it's neurons, but look at consciousness more, we understand that it really is an energy. And energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only transferred from form to form, so. It's, I guess, some sort of, has some feasibility. <laughs> I watched the effect of my father's love and humor and how it altered the world around me. And I thought, that's something to do. That's something worth my time. When I was about 28, after a decade as a professional comedian, I realized one night in LA that the purpose of my life had always been to free people from concern, just like my dad. I did something that made people present their best selves to me wherever I go.